Hello, my name is Jaime Lobato. I am a Mexican multimedia artist. I'm living in between Tallinn and Mexico City. And uh, now I'm working a lot in projects of uh, bio art, hybrid art, mixing uh, different media uh, like uh, digital image, sound, and of course like a biolo biological and chemical process. I was interested in participating in this residency because I have been working with uh, biosensors for uh, for some years, I have been working with electroencephalography, like uh, pulse sensors, in cell sensors, and now um, electromyography. One of the motivations of participating in this uh, project was to keep developing my research in electricity produced by humans. I'm Inês, I'm from Portugal. Um, I lived in Estonia for a few years and now I still come back for projects. Uh, so I'm a bit in between Portugal and, and Estonia. Right now I'm, I'm living in Lisbon doing a residency in um, as part of a curating collective in a place called Lar Residencias. They work with uh, uh, embedded practices and um, uh, social participatory um, art practices. My individual practice uh, focuses on um, how um, the, the process of making visual art, um, how, how that can be expanded towards a more uh, human dimension by bringing it uh, closer to the, the ways of the body. Uh, I was interested in, in doing this residency because um, I, I thought that uh, sensors, biosensors, could help to amplify uh, this uh, human quality of, of visual art by enabling um, the accessibility to the, the immaterial qualities of, of the creators, of me as a, the, the performer. We presented in this residency two performances and one installation. They stemmed from um, an initial encounter with each other in which we were sharing our practices and our interests and we realized that we had this common interest of uh, uh, exploring space and body in, in, in artistic practice. Our first test started with um, a performative drawing session in which we used EMG sensors in my arm to capture the electricity that goes through my muscles as I do a drawing performance. Also contact microphones under the drawing so that uh, there is a soundscape that is produced and manipulated with the, 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 the sensor that I was using. I have discovered that I, I really appreciate about doing these performative drawings is how Somehow when you see the drawing, when it comes from the body, when you see the drawing, you can sort of feel the performer there, no? Mm. You see the foot, you see like how the body encounters the, the paper and it's like it becomes more um, physical. Mm. It's not just a drawing that you do with your arm stretched out. We keep talking about this uh, empathy, um, empathic way of uh, presenting a performance, not that the audience can um, have access to to my inner dimension, but okay, maybe the perform the first performance was quite uh, okay technically specific. No, maybe uh, grandma cannot <laughs> do that performance. But uh, well, in truth, what goes inside my body is very similar to anyone's body. So yeah. you, I don't have to be a dancer to 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 do this kind of um, electric manipulation. Um, so I think that um, it would be interesting in the future to destigmatize uh, the performer as someone that uh, is somehow more qualified to, to present this kind of um, artistic experimentation with, with by sensors and electricity and show that anyone can like that's the beauty of, of biosensors no and, and, and having this um, um, artistic 
output of biosensors is that anyone can make art using them just by existing, by, by being alive. Mm. I think that's something that would be really beautiful to explore. In the second performance, we were using this uh, electrocardiogram sensor. So we were using uh, the beats per minute of our heart rates to use them as a musical interface. So whenever the system can felt the systole and diastole movement of our hearts, then it, it triggers some rhythmic uh, ideas in a more like a conceptual and poetic um, way we were thinking about ways of digital communication nowadays we were talking about to trying to make an interface that can help to have a relationship with another person in a more like profound way not necessarily using words or images, but something like a, as basic as, as, as human, as a heartbeat to, put, to set connections in between people. And the third um, part of the project was a, an installation uh, in which we presented uh, one of the drawings produced in, a, in, a, in the first performance. Uh, and uh, we had these electrical impulses so that the, the audience could feel uh, the electricity of my, my body as I was doing that drawing. They are in front of the image and they have this uh, electric uh, input trying to imagine wh what was happening in the body of the artist. This is more like a memory trigger, a more poetic way to approach the data we were collecting through the sensor, not to enhance like, Im the imagination uh, and the poetics of the media itself, using electricity as a medium, but as the artwork itself, not um, converting this uh, as a representation, but as an exper experience uh, itself. And also, I think it's so beautiful, the, the idea of um, being able to feel physically close with someone who is not present, no? Mm. It's, like you, it's like you can hug or touch a performer that is not there just by, by you know, the electricity mm. and, and looking at its body and how it was crystallized in this drawing. Mm. Like even thinking about, I don't know, how, like the potential of that mm. feeling, <coughs> people yes. who are not there. That's I mean, it happens without this, uh, mm -hmm. this e electric interface, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with uh, any work of art. Mm. But I think what we did uh, as a, an artistic research is like a putting the light over this mm -hmm. process. I think uh, this is still very much a work in progress. We uh, worked very well together. It was a successful collaboration with the research team from TLU, with Electron, and um, that was wonderful. And yes, it's good to also have material to go on with. <laughs> we kind of uh, reach the the goals we have planned for the for our like um, uh, proposal but i think it was a success residency not because of that but because we have now a lot of more questions and uh, and ideas to develop in the future i i would really would like to to present this um, this process in, in, in other different contexts, maybe like in Portugal, in Mexico, in a more like um, experimental places, not so academ academic places, but as well to write something about like artistic research, giving space for this idea to, to, to grow. <laughs>